Hello. This is a tutorial to help in an, kind of an emergency situation regarding a change that happened to Blackboard Video Everywhere as well as YouTube on Sunday, December 13th, 2015. Prior to that, you used to be able to use a tool built into Blackboard called Video Everywhere to do a webcam recording right into the Blackboard shell. It could be either into the discussion board area, it could be into the grade center, into a column, it could be in the announcements, pretty much anywhere you can get a text editing box, you could do a recording using Video Everywhere. On April 20th, 2015, due to a Google change in API programming, YouTube and Blackboard were no longer communicating to one another in order to make this happen. So you used to have to come up with Plan B until about October when a cumulative update uh, solved that issue. The Plan B was to actually use YouTube and record a webcam capture directly into YouTube. So, <clears throat> We don't have that issue anymore because YouTube says on their site starting January 16th 2016 you will no longer be able to do a webcam recording directly into YouTube however I have found in my testing they seems to have turned it off now it is not available now they do have a more information uh, link that you can click on that talks about ideas for how you can actually continue to do this outside of YouTube, then upload your video to YouTube and continue to share uh, the way that you would in the past. I've already recorded a video for Macs, so if you're a Mac user, you can go ahead and watch that video rather than this one. This video is going to be for Windows users. Now, as I said in the Mac recording, you also have the ability, just like you did before, it's really no different. If you want to use your iOS device or your Android device and do a video recording and then upload it to YouTube like you used to do before and then link it back to, um, you know, share it in any way you want to. If you want to get it back into your Blackboard class, you can do that. Not a problem. But um, this is the only spot where you're going to have that opportunity to find out another way to do it if you're using a Windows PC. Again, if you're using a Mac, I've already recorded a video yesterday on how to do this with, with a Mac. So this is going to show you how to do it with a Windows PC. Now, to go forward, you have to understand that you could have different versions of your operating system. I'm going to show you first how you would access a webcam software platform in order to do this with a Windows 7 machine. If you got a Windows XP, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. You're going to have to find a third-party provider or a Windows download for some type of web uh, camera capture software in order to make this happen. I'm going to be able to show you one web capture software download that's free that you can get for your Windows 7 machine. And I'm actually going to show you how to do this with uh, tools that are already built right in to Windows 8, and this would also work for Windows 10. So let's get started. So in order to do this in Windows 7, now just so you know, I'm on a Windows 8 machine, so I'm not going to be able to do the setup for Windows 7, but I can show you how you get that information. So I'm just in um, a search window here, and so I'm going to type Windows Live Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker. This is actually what you're looking for. <clears throat> and Movie Maker from Microsoft gets you to the download you need, download now, and you're good to go. Then you can actually, on that Windows 7 machine, you can actually do a webcam recording. It gets saved to your machine. You will then need to upload it to YouTube and then either pull down the embed code or the URL to put it into your Blackboard shell. 
I'm not going to show you how to do that in a Windows 7 environment, again, because I can't, but you would need to download this Windows Movie Maker. There's other ways that you can do it, but Windows Movie Maker is actually a nice uh, free, easy download, doesn't take any type of configuration, will allow you to record your webcam. You can then take that file and upload it into YouTube and then link it back to your class. Okay, so uh, now we want to talk about uh, Windows 8 and above. I'm in a Windows 8 machine right now, my uh, little Lenovo ThinkPad, and we're going to go ahead and show you how you would do this webcam capture and then upload to YouTube and then get it uploaded to your Blackboard class. So again, I'm just on my desktop. You can hit the little uh, window icon on your computer if you prefer to go into the other method. I like to use uh, kind of old-fashioned traditional there. I like to use this uh, desktop version uh, for that. But you also you know, don't have to do that if you want to go into uh, the Windows mode or Windows 8. On your screen, you have a camera icon. If you click the camera icon, once that launches, you will see that uh, the webcam has now come on over to the right. You have a camera icon and you have a webcam icon. And all you have to do is click on the webcam icon. It starts counting for you. And there's session, uh, session, second number one, two, three, four. So it is working. Hi, hi, hi. Make whatever comments you want. If you were looking at doing this in a feedback situation, you'd make those particular feedback comments for that individual student. If you're going to do this as a mini lecture, you would go ahead and do that. I'm now going to pause, assuming that my video is done. Okay, I'm going to click back on desktop. Now, depending on, <clears throat> on how your machine is, is configured or set up, you actually have um, a, a way to kind of get into your computer system in order to find out. Uh, there's like a, a file explorer uh, icon that you have, and it kind of depends on how you have, you have your Windows 8 uh, set up. But once you get into that um, that area of your of your computer, then then you are good to go. And usually, it's a little uh, file kind of folder emblem. So that's right down here. If I click on this file explorer. That's going to take me, I'm going to go to recent places because that's where I just was, and I'm going to go into camera roll because that's where I actually saved it. And so here is this video that I just recorded for you. Now, what I can do is I can right click and get this drop down menu and then do a rename. This is very, very helpful because all of these other things are going to default to some type of win and then a date and so forth and a timing situation. And if you got 10 or 15 of these in here that you have to go back and link to YouTube and so forth, you're going to struggle being able to figure that out, what is what, or if you have a lecture for each week. So it's best to rename it right now. So I could do, you know, week five, Smith, feedback. You can have 60 characters for a file name. That of things that get uploaded to YouTube, it will take up to 60 characters, um, so uh, without any trouble. So now I have that named, and I'm good to go. Okay, so that takes us now to the task of uploading to YouTube. So launch your YouTube account and log in. If you do not uh, have your name or your image over here, it means you're not signed in yet. You would sign in with the same login password and ID that you use for your Baker College login. And then all you have to do at this point is click on this upload button right here. And that's going to open up your upload screen. Now again, this used to be where we would go. And if you click on record like we used to be able to do this, 
YouTube will open up your webcam capture and notice that we have this screen right here where we get this webcam uploads will no longer be available after January 16, 2016. However, I have found that it doesn't work. You'll actually hit start recording. You will record your video. But once you got done, there used to be a little upload button right here that does not pop up. So whatever they're talking about here, it's not working now. So this is not what we what we need to do. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. <clears throat> and we're going to go back to the spot. Now, I do suggest that you adjust your privacy policy here. You can adjust it later if you want. So to adjust it to unlisted. And then you hit this arrow here that says select files to upload. Okay, I'm going to go where I know my file is, my camera roll. And there's my 45 Smith track. We're good to go. And now we are going to start uh, uploading. And then it has to render. So it's going to take about a minute to upload. It's going to get all the way to 100%. And then it has to render the video. And when that's all done, you'll be asked to hit the Done button right here. And at that particular time, your video will be live here. And so I'll show you in just a second when this gets done, how you go about doing a uh, link or an insertion into Blackboard using the URL or, better yet, using the embed code. Okay, and as we can see now, processing is done. And it's click Done to continue. So. What we have now is uh, our share mode for this particular video. So this is the URL. I could just highlight this if that's what I wanted to do. And that could work for you if you wanted to send it in an email. But if you were going to load it up to your Blackboard class, uh, I think a better way is to actually click on embed and grab this embed code. So if you do your control C to copy this link, and then I'll get out of here and go to Blackboard. Change my password here since I was in this machine last time. And so I'll go into a Blackboard test class here. And let's go into a discussion board. I can really put this anywhere I want to. Again, if we're talking about feedback, um, you would go in the Grade Center and put it in for that particular student. So let's go into this uh, first discussion board here, the first forum. And I'm going to create a thread. And maybe this is uh, lecture week one, whatever. This is exactly how I would do it. <laughs> excuse me, in any place that I could get this <laughs> excuse me, uh, text editing box. So normally this is where we would have gone to click on recording from the webcam with the video everywhere, which again is not working. So we have this embed code. All we need to do is go right here to this fourth icon over from the left. And as you can see, it says insert edit embedded media. So we click on this, opens up a new window for us. And make this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. Now we have three tabs here, General, Advanced, and Source. We're going to use the General tab and the Source tab. You can probably tell here that the General tab is what we would call pushed forward. It's the active tab, and you can see because it is white. The other ones are kind of like a gray. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click on Source. Notice that that's now the active tab. We're going to click so that our cursor is blinking in this large dialog box. And then we're going to hit Control D or Paste. We don't have to touch this at all. Just put the embed code in right the way it is. Don't mess with it. Go back and click on General. You should see your video pop up in the box. You don't have to do anything with the dimensions. You don't have to do anything else. Just hit Insert. And then you can see you got this yellow box in there. That's what it will look like at first. And then click Submit. Once you click Submit, 
our video is now loaded into Blackboard and ready to play just by clicking here. Well, that's it. Again, this is how do you now do a webcam capture from your Windows 8 or beyond machine? And at the beginning of this video, there was some ideas for if you have Windows 7 or even if you have um, Windows XP, how you would go about doing this webcam capture. The key is you have to capture the video, you have to upload it to Black or to YouTube, and then you can go get the link and upload it to Blackboard. Thanks very much for watching.